literally not two seconds before I was about to buy the Tinico S5 Pro 2. Yes, there is an S5 Pro 2 model. I discovered that there's now a Tinico S7, which is of course supposed to be the best of all the Tinicos. So of course, I bought that one instead. And here it is, the Tinico S7 Pro. Tinico claims that it is supposed to be their best model. There's a laundry list of new features and capabilities on it. But of course, what we want to find out today is if it is in fact the best of all the Tinicos, if it's better than the S5, the S3, and the Shark, and if you should buy one yourself. <laughs> We're gonna start by unboxing this thing, which already at a bad start here, I'm a little bit displeased with. All right, so in this box, as like the other ones, comes with a little, little brush to help clean it out a little bit. We of course, have the unit and a ton of plastic trash. Got the bottle wrapped in plastic, of course. Got the roller wrapped in plastic. Yeah, right. I got the, the machine wrapped in plastic. You've got the roller. Why can't I get the roller out? Here we go. You've got the roller wrapped in plastic. You've got this thing wrapped in plastic. You've got the filter and then the power cord all wrapped in plastic. The tray wrapped in foam and plastic. And then the extra brush holder thing also wrapped in plastic. And if that wasn't bad enough, then you also have the manual wrapped in plastic. Is there a reason why Tinico feels like they have to wrap everything in plastic? By the way, the box was also wrapped in plastic before I started recording the video. But let's go ahead and go ahead and assemble the stupid thing. All right, so I'll probably end up fast forwarding this, but let's just go ahead and do a quick assembly. Get rid of all the stuff. So. All right, there's still a few more things that can technically be unwrapped with the Tinico S5 or S7 uh, Pro. However, these are sort of the basics that you really need. Uh, ultimately, you just need your tray, you need the power cord to charge it up, and then of course, you need the Tinico itself. The only thing I can really give a strong pass on the plastic is of course the fluid because they don't want that leaking and shipping, but uh, I mean, everything else, I mean, there is just a massive amount of pollution and overkill on this thing. Anyway, let's, let's go ahead and fire her up. All right, so it goes without saying that using the Tinico S7 is exactly like its predecessors. Basically, on the back of it, you've got a, you know, where you, where you fill up the water. On the front of it is where you've got the dirty water tray. On the inside, we've got to pull out this piece of paper in here. And frankly, more pollution, by the way. Uh, and uh, utilizing this tray looks almost about the same as its predecessors as well. I'll talk about that a little bit more later on in the video. Pop this thing in. Get it in there. Got one. All right. Well, isn't this interesting? There we go. Okay. And then, of course, to use it, you've got a series of buttons here. One at the top. I'll get into that more later, too. But you pop it down and you rock and roll. Of course, to charge it, you just sit it in its tray. Charge. It talks at you, which I love. And then you've got this big, fancy new screen on it. Now, the new screen is one of Tinico's selling points on the new S7 Pro. So if we look over here, more plastic, <laughs> we've got this fancy LCD screen that rivals even the best of iPads, but it also is where all of the magic is going to happen as soon as you start operating it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the water reservoir. I'm not gonna show that on film because we've done that in all of our previous videos, and that's, again, pretty self-explanatory as well, but I'm gonna fill it up, and then we're gonna go ahead and take this thing for a test drive. Now, some of the fancy new features that Tinico talks about are things that I thought that the Tinico should have had all the way back on the S3. It now has a full edge-to-edge -edge head on it, so that means Unlike the S5, which had about an inch gap on like one side, and the S3, which had it on both sides, you now have complete edge-to-edge -edge capabilities on the brush roller, which I think is a really, really nice touch. It also is supposed to have 450 rotations per minute, which should hopefully help with those items that are just a little bit stubborn and sticky on the floors, although of course we will find out. And then it is also supposed to 
constantly be spraying the brush roller with clean water. That prevents streaks, it also prevents mildew and odors from happening on the brush roller, but largely it's just supposed to improve upon its cleaning capabilities. Now Tinico hasn't mentioned anything about the suction capabilities, which has always been kind of lackluster on the Tinico products, but nevertheless what we want to see is if the S7 has better suction on there too. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is just sort of do a practical test around the office here. We're going to see if there's any screws lying around that are going to tear up the soft brush roller. You'll, if you watched our Tinico S5 video you would know what I'm talking about, but in any event, and we're going to see if the uh, S7 is all it is cracked up to be. All right, let's go ahead and rock and roll. God, that, Powering is, on. that is loud. Yes, you can English. disable the voice but I still am not a fan of it. So, English, yes. Hi, welcome to Tinco Assistant. Let's begin the quick start guide. Do we have to? On the front of the handle, power button. Okay. Select button. Confirm button. I feel, like, button. I feel like this thing is doing Exit my button. job for me. While operating appliance. Press the select button to switch between different modes. I cannot tell you how loud this is. I think the speaker is like right To there. enter selected mode, press the confirm button. All right. Press the help button to get more instructions. Maybe, press the back button to exit Maybe at some point we can help. actually vacuum. Self-clean button is located on top. Press it to initiate self-cleaning when appliance is on the base. Oh, that's great. Now I don't have to tell you about that either. Mute and Wi-Fi button is located at the back. Press it to turn on or off voice. Long press right to connect to network. And double press to switch languages. I think it might be done. Clean water tank it's is not. located at the back of the appliance. Tilt the appliance to start cleaning. Place your foot on the base and stand the appliance upright to pause cleaning. Dirty water tank is located at the front of appliance. Clean dirty water tank after each use to prevent odors. Quick start guide complete. Press the confirm button to start. Okay. Auto mode. Please clean the brush roller. I just got the thing. What are you talking about? Please clean the brush roller. My God. It is clean looking to me. Please clean the brush roller. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and say that it is, say that it is clean. Why is everything? There we go. All right. Okay. Auto mode. It's about time. So let's go ahead and uh, here's some dirt on the floors. I did a good job grabbing that. So. On this particular S7, there is a new feature where as you push it in one direction, or basically as you push it forward or as you pull it back, there's a motor in the wheels that is assisting you as you are moving. So it makes it like a lot less, I don't know, like resistant to moving around. Um, you notice though, that the wheels actually just kind of got stuck. Like, if you're doing it really fast, which you really shouldn't be, but they will kind of slip all around a little bit. Now, before I continue with the cleaning part of the video, there are a few more comparisons I'd like to make to the S5. So, in light of sounding like I'm crapping all over this thing, and I promise you I'm not, by the way, we buy these things. They don't, they're not given to us like they are on other YouTube channels. But in any event, it does come with a bigger water reservoir. It is 0.85 liters instead of, I think, like the 0.8 that's on the S5 series. It also has better battery life at 40 minutes versus the 35. Now, considering that it has a little motor in the wheels that's kind of assisting you moving it along, I think they actually could have probably done away with that and then increase the amount of battery life in there rather than giving the assistive motor. Uh, already in our little demo video, we, we showed that the wheels can kind of keep spinning in one direction if they get wet or if you move it too fast. So that is to me a little bit gimmicky. Also, these units are not that heavy. So unless you really have, and I'm, I promise I'm not making light of this, like some seriously bad shoulders or are, are really weak or something like that, there is really no reason for this thing to have self power, driving power, but whatever, it's a feature in the S7 Pro. Anyway, along to, uh, let's move along to more cleaning. 
All right, so we're gonna test auto mode on here first and see how the iLoop system works compared to the others. So we hit the power button, it kind of loads up on auto mode. I really do not like these new wheels. Um, they, they they seem to move kind of when they want to and in what direction they want to. Um, I think it was a big mistake for, like look, I don't, I don't know if you can see this on camera, they are moving when I am not moving, look at that. See, that is just stupid. I mean, these wheels are, I gotta, I gotta say this, look, these wheels are still moving. That is terrible. I mean, you can feel it doing its thing while you're trying to push it around. I'm gonna see if I can actually turn those off. But yeah, iLoop is working exactly like it works on the other ones. Um, and that is to say that it, it works, you know, okay. I mean, it, it detects when there is some dirtier water. You know, is it doing a better job cleaning than the other ones? I'm not so sure. Is it worth $800? Not so sure about that either. I mean, again, like if you're paying specifically for like those fancy wheels that are supposed to move on their own, I'm not really so sure if you're getting a bargain there. Let's take a quick peek through the settings menu. So if we scroll over to the left, well, first off, if you go through the whole menu, you got suction mode, ultra mode, max mode, auto mode. Uh, we'll try out ultra mode here in a little bit, but um, in any event, uh, system settings, we hit that. You can turn the brush roller light on and off. Um, that probably won't do a whole lot except for, for changing the battery. Um, please turn on the volume before adjusting. I muted this thing because I was absolutely sick and tired. Voice prompts on. Oh, God. Medium. That's on medium? Medium is loud. All right. All right, system settings. Hi. It's too low. It is. When I say loud, it really is loud. Okay, solution. So that's interesting. So you can change it between solution and just water. That might have something to do with the S5 Pro 2's sort of electric um, weird ionizing thing that it does. Uh, however, they do not advertise it as a feature on the S7. So that's, I'm not so sure about, but uh, I'll get back to people on that. And then the, just the brush light. So yeah, you do not have the ability to turn the wheels off on this thing. That is a little bit of a shame. We're now testing suction mode. Now, one of the issues I've had with the suction capabilities on these things is that, well, there is none. And one of the biggest examples of how you test that is with some dirt that's by the edge of like, of like a carpet or something. And ideally you want it to be able to vacuum that up without it making direct contact. So let's see if this one can improve. I want to note that the S3 and the S5, as well as actually the Shark, had issues picking up stuff on, on edges here. So you got it. I can hear the suction is better. telling me to clean the brush roller. Is that the same thing as self-cleaning mode? That's a good question, I don't know. One interesting thing is that this one not only tells you the battery life, but it also tells you the, the water level. I guess that's kind of a clever thing. Um, you know, the, the interface on this thing is like overall, I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's like they put so much engineering into the damn computer on the interface or on the, on the top of it that like, I feel like they didn't even, they didn't put that same engineering into the suction capabilities. For example, that is spider poop. Yes, we have a spider and it pooped. If I go over this on max mode, it still hasn't picked it up. And you know, this brush roller is supposed to be spinning at 450 times a second or a minute, whatever. There's another little sticky spot right there in the floor. Went over really slowly. It doesn't get it. In fact, it's left stuff there. A big water streak it left. Press the self-clean button to select. 
So basically it lets you choose between two different self-cleaning cycles. We are going to go ahead and just do the quick self-cleaning cycle. Press the clean button to select. So I guess we're gonna hit the self, the quick one. So the S7 Pro has this thing called Ultra Mode on it. And by the way, if you look up on their website or in the user manual as to what Ultra Mode does, all it says is that it will prepare the unit for 30 seconds and then is suitable for a deep cleaning. But what does that really mean? Well, what we're gonna do is turn this thing into Ultra Mode and clean some dirty spots and see if it does anything different. Let's go ahead and pop it on. Preparing solution. I am going to ring up Tinico or get on their chat and try to get some more information on exactly what the ultra mode does and I will then report back. Find, all right, so I reached out to Tinico's customer service to find out exactly what ultra mode does. So I'm gonna read you directly from the chat what Tinico said. Uh, in, in answer to the question of what does the ultra mode do, by the way, ultra mode is on the S7 Pro, the S7, or S5 Pro 2, and the S5 Extreme. The new ultra mode makes it possible to electrolyze simple tap water at the push of a button and use it for a 100% natural deep clean. In an effort to save time and keep things short, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of blast through, basically explain what electrolyzed water is. So what I think is going on in the Tinico is effectively if you put tap water into the reservoir, it must be sending like a little electric shock basically like into that water. And assuming that you're using non-filtered or basically non-distilled tap water, if it has sodium chloride in it, which I guess most tap water does, it will turn it into a solution called hypochlorous acid and sodium hydroxide, which is supposed to be somewhat efficient at, at disinfectant. That said, apparently there are some drawbacks, and I'm gonna to link to a Wikipedia article on exactly how electrolyzed water works. But suffice to say, I want to, I can't I can't drive home enough how gimmicky I think that that particular feature is. One, they should be calling it like disinfectant mode and not ultra mode because it doesn't do a better job at cleaning. It's just specifically supposed to be disinfecting. But number two, in the chat, I asked her if you put in the solution uh, that, that is provided with the unit, if you put that in the tank, basically what happens. And her response was effectively that if you use it, it could damage the machine and void the warranty. But there is no literature anywhere, not in the manual, on the box, on their website, or on the machine itself that says do not mix the solution with the tap water when using ultra mode. And I would assume it's going to be the same thing on the S5 models, but the point is, is that they are telling you that, they're going to, that you're going to void the warranty on your machine by misusing it when you're basically, when, when they're not instructing you on how to use this particular feature in the first place. I, what I really want to drive home here is that I really feel that Tinico as a brand, they overpromise, they underdeliver, they under-engineer, they're full of gimmicks, and ultimately the S7 is just an overpriced gadget that is not going to do any better of a job at cleaning your floors. All right, so here are my final thoughts on the Tinico S7 Pro. Should you buy one? Absolutely not. It is an almost thousand dollar product and it has so many shortcomings that it is just inexcusable. All they did was add a bunch of gimmicky features on top of the S5, charged about two to $300 more, and then expected people to just frolic to it as if it is the next best thing, but it simply isn't. Those little, sp the, 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 whatever they call it, the smooth, the, the move, self-moving feature with the wheels is absolutely worthless. It makes moving it around somewhat annoying because the wheels are kind of fighting with you half the time. The suction power on it is not any better. The cleaning capabilities on it is not any better. The smell problem where if you just leave the brush roller and the dirty water tank stagnant and they, they reek after a while, that didn't get any better of which if you watch our shark review, that is in fact something that could be resolved. The dirty water tank is still a pain in the butt to pour out. So basically as you're pouring it, if you pour a little bit too fast, water will leak out to the bottom. I cannot wrap my head around the piss poor design that that is. And then of course you have this new ultra mode where it primes the solution and does a bunch of other things. Sorry, but at the end of the day, this thing is extremely expensive and it is just not worth it. If you want a vac mop, if you are absolutely dead set on getting a vac mop, okay, I get it. There is some nice added conveniences to being able to vacuum and mop at the same time. 
but I really don't think you're going to find your answer in the Tinico, much less in the Tinico S7 Pro. If you're loyal to Tinico products because you like them, go ahead and just save your money and get an S5 Pro. It is going to be just as good as the uh, as the S7 Pro. If anything, you may even want to consider getting the S5 Pro Steam, which we did do a test on and thought it was okay. Uh, or you could go really, really cheap and get a Shark, and frankly, it will do fine there as well. Just very, very unimpressive. So yes, that is my final assessment of the S7 Pro. Should you buy it? No. But if you want to buy one anyway, please do so with our affiliate links. It helps this channel a lot. Please like and subscribe. We hope this video was, in fact, helpful to you. If you have any questions, reach out to us in the comments section, and we will be back with another video really soon.